Good morning, good morning, my darling dreamers. So I haven't curled my hair in a long time. I went a little overboard and now I look like Dolly Parton. So welcome to Dollywood, ladies and gentlemen. This is Throne Talks. My name is Nilsa. For those of you who don't know me, this is for entertainment purposes only. I want to talk about two things. One, how about that Fade It Forward to Follow Challenge? Y'all did amazing. We did not reach our goal. But do I look sad? No. This reminds me, hold on, I need coffee. My balloon is triggered. This reminds me of, um, in that movie, The Secret, I think it was Jack Canfield. He had $100,000 written on his ceiling. And so he could see it every night and say, I make six figures. I know, or I earn six figures. I have a six figure income. Of course I do. I have a six figure income. So it's easy to say for me. Um, he, that first year he was trying to manifest it. He got to like 92,000 and he's like, I didn't hit that goal, but is, am I upset? No, I got a lot closer than I would have if I wasn't trying to manifest it in the first place. So I think y'all did a fabulous job. Um, and second thing is a lot of there's no regulations here for readers so people can run their businesses however they want just because like you know if i if i want to do fade it forwards and i want to help people or do the laundry lives and free card pulls um that's it's my it's my business i do whatever the hell i want please don't dm other readers you know for you know free things it's, it's one thing if they offer but if they're not offering please please respect that they do that do this for a living okay also, um, like when we're doing the, the Fay It Forward challenge, I'm asking you a favor. It's not free. I'm asking you the favor to follow and support your fairy sister. And then in return, you know, I'm giving you like a love message. So it's not technically like free. It's, it's a favor for a favor. Get it, Fay? So um, I'm thinking about doing like one of those like once a month. Um, if you know anybody or any of you are trying to like grow your page and you know, you think it would help, but you gotta be like post and fire content or be super good. Okay. Anyway, back to your message. So, um, one of the questions we had when we did the throne talks live was about, you know, intuition. How do you know, like when to go with what the card means versus what immediately comes to you. And I was saying how if someone's hiring you or trusting you, they're trusting your channeling, they're trusting your gifts, they're not going to, and half of them don't even know how to read tarot. They're not going to be like, um, actually, actually, no, that's not what the, you know, the handman means. So um, what are you talking about? They're, they're not going to do that. You have this like fear of looking incompetent, but that just has to do with self-esteem. And I, and I try to encourage y'all. I'm like, I don't care if the card has two words on it and you see an elephant. That's what you see. That's what you see. That's your message. Deliver. It's your job to deliver. You're the bridge, right? So I wanted to talk about confidence here for a minute. Uh, I saw this video. So this is uh, confidence in your intuition. I saw this video with Tiger Woods. And he went, sorry, my little iPod thingies keep, what do you call these? Your pods? They keep sliding up. It only, it only happens like when I'm like channeling or doing something, like if I'm recording, it'll do it. It's like my spirit baby, this little Cinderella thing. They tickle my earrings or my ear, ear pods. Um, what are they talking about? Okay, so Tiger Woods, he shoots a shot and then he like doesn't even wait to watch it. He doesn't wait to see if the fucking ball goes in the hole. He's like, goes in, he's like, congrats, you know, Congratulations, the guy's like, congratulations. He shakes the guy's hand and watches. And behind him, you see the ball going in. That's amazing. So I want you to remember golf for me. Um, gratitude. Big emphasis, and you're gonna laugh because if this sticks with you for the rest of your life, so will I. <laughs> um, think about the, the tits and the word gratitude, right? Calm your tits, it could be worse, basically. So about being grateful. And I have to tell myself that too. I'm like, you know what? I shouldn't complain. Like, you know what? I need to calm my tits. 
And I used to say zits because I don't know if that word offends people. All right, so you can't have both, right? You can have gratitude, like, thank you that I have this message. I'm going to deliver it. Or you can doubt it. You can't have both. And then we have omens, the omens that you get, right? Um, without them, like, before you started getting psychic messages and channeling, if you really think about it, you probably felt lonely in the universe. Like, now you feel like, man, I really, I feel, the, the signs show I'm surrounded by the spirit team, right? And then we have um, live or die. You can continue growing your gifts, or if you ignore them and, you know, try and let them die on the vine, that's it. I'm sure you'll probably stop getting angel numbers and whatever. Eventually, eventually, this has happened to people. Okay. And then we have faith and fear. Faith that it'll turn up in divine timing or be afraid until somebody gets clarification. So remember that golf. Gratitude for the omens. Live in faith. Okay. When you think that, like, oh my God, someone says they're not resonating. What do I do now? Sorry, this is foreign. It's <laughs> foreign to me. I'm just kidding. Um, be grateful that the signs and messages you're getting are, have faith that those are going to come true. I want you, if you're a reader here, um, or maybe anything you do, whatever business that you do. I left my ring in the other room. Sorry, I just noticed. And yes, I know all my little bling bling fell off, which is funny because I'm right-handed and they stayed on the right hand. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so whatever you do, I want you to remember golf. If anything, if you don't remember the acronym, remember Tiger Woods. Doesn't even watch it to go in because he knows it's gonna go in. Mm -hmm. Some people will wait for a sign before they hire you too. They'll be like, they'll be like lurking lurking for a little while for a year or two spy account <laughs> right um wearing masks like they're divine masculine and then they'll be like okay i can't ignore this i have to i cannot ignore this i have to get a reading sign me up right it's gonna whatever signs further that you give them it doesn't mean you can't control time you're not father time you know have that faith live in you're going to either live in the faith that it's 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 going to come into fruition or you're going to live in the fear and then you know they'll know like she doesn't even believe the shit she's saying why should i believe her right they're like animals they can smell fear i'm just kidding but it's true like if you don't even believe the message is channeling through how are your clients going to believe it y'all you know um and I'll tell them if I don't know what the fuck it means. I'll be like, you have this horseshoe. I don't know what the fuck it means. Here, good luck. <laughs> but, you know, they might be like, oh my God, my grandma that died had a horse farm. And to them, that little sign means everything. I could have not said nothing. I could have just ignored it. Like, I don't know what that means. You know what I mean? I know everything I'm saying sounds redundant. But it has a point. And the point is, it might mean zip, zero, nada, niente, ahora. And then like in two months, it could be the biggest omen <laughs> that about their path or what to do next. If you stayed silent, they could be running around lost with a chicken, like a chicken with their head cut off even longer, you know, just lost in Dollywood. All right. <laughs> all right. Glad that helped. Okay. A few more announcements. One, I'm going to be doing a little story reel. It's going to be like three channel messages. You could be like, oh, Nilly, Lily, I want a message from my baby and one from myself and one from my beloved. Or you could say, I want them all from my beloved, please. And make one of them spicy, right? And I'm going to make a little reel. It's going to be a, a little fairy tale. It's going to be so epic. I'm telling you. And it, it's going to pull your heartstrings so much. You're going to need like a little box of tissues. You're going to be like, oh. <laughs> Nosa, right in the feels, right in the feels. I have the gift, right? What else? Um, got a. We still have a good amount of fairy tale finesse decor left in the Etsy shop. Link is in bio. What else am I? I feel like I'm missing something. 
Um, I keep hearing, tell them about the Terminator. Tell them about the Terminator. And I don't know what they're talking about. So, oh, I know. Okay, so it must, the only thing I can think of um, is I'll be back. So if leather jackets and I'll be back means anything to you, they'll be back. All right. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my throne talk and hanging out with us in Dollywood. I love you 3000. I'll see you real soon. Link in bio for private sessions.